My overall impression is that uh, they are both uh, successes, but also challenges. Okorona would have been even more successful if the Defence Force had had adequate resources so that it can deploy the full complement of uh, companies which are on standby to be part of this operation. You know that we have 22 companies which are readily available for deployment to Op Corona, but currently we've deployed 15 of those. Now, from the presentation which was given to us right now, it is very clear that there are areas where you have no visible patrolling by the South African National Defence Force. But equally, you have areas where you have the full complement of members of the South African National Defence Force who are patrolling in those areas. And in those areas, there have been major success stories. Uh, for the period of uh, six weeks, from the uh, 20th of March up until now, month end of April, we've arrested 206 members, undocumented personnel, which is personnel who are crossing the border from the Mozambique into South Africa with no valid paperwork. So we have arrested uh, 600 and, uh, 206 members. The Charlie Company, which is Zone Star, our Charlie Company of JR, they have arrested um, two rhino horns. They were working 6.7 million. But uh, the contraband, we, we do have them, the fake uh, clothing, and um, the daha, and the, um, what you call the undocumented. But all in all, the total successes of the, the value is 10 million for the period of the six weeks. So, really the intention of being here is to expose South Africans to what the South African National Defense Force is doing, that which it, it is able to do, and that which is, it is not able to achieve. And it all has to do, in the main, with the cutting down of the budget of the South African National Defense Force. There is no country in the sub-Saharan region which receives the, the kind of budget which we receive in this country. And yet, we are supposed to be having a strong South African National Defense Force with enormous resources, with a, a lot of a infrastructure in terms of research and development as well, but we are unable to sustain even that which we already have. So if you could help us by drumming into the minds of South Africans, that when we talk about more resources for the South African National Defense Force, it is not because we want to abuse those resources. It is not because we want to militarize the Republic of South Africa. We want to militarize our, our democratic dispensation. But we want to make sure, because we have a very long borderline, we want to make sure that we protect South Africans we protect the sovereignty of the Republic, the territorial integrity of South Africa.